Israel is likely to launch those wars perhaps within the next few months it could be one of four targets and you know it already it could be Pakistan and the Pakistanis know it that's why the Israeli Mossad and the CIA combined to launch the 9-11 terrorist attack on America why? because they wanted to get an opening into Afghanistan so they could send a few hundred thousand troops into Afghanistan so they can use Afghanistan as the base to destabilize Pakistan the only people who don't understand that are the politicians everybody else understand that because if a politician were to say Israeli Mossad did 9-11 that's it he finished as a politician the Zionists are not going to support him they're going to finish with him <laughs> so the politicians know where they get their roti from and so they'll know what to say and what not to say and so an attack on Pakistan was prepared since 9-11 10 years now and the attack on Pakistan is meant to destroy Pakistan's nuclear plants and nuclear weapons why? because Israel wants to rule the world anyone who has studied the Quran and Hadith properly would know that because they study the subject of Dajjal you have read my book Jerusalem in the Quran have you not? we have it in English we have it in Bahasa and I have news for you we have a very young Imam sitting in front of me here and he's almost finished translating it into Tamil <laughs> bless, may Allah bless the Imam so you're going to get Jerusalem in the Quran soon in Tamil Israel wants to rule the world so that a man can stand up in Jerusalem tomorrow meaning about 20 years from now and declare I am the Messiah al Masih. but we know that the Messiah or the Masih is Jesus Nabi Isa alayhi salam so who would he be? he would be Dajjal in order for him to declare I am the Messiah he has to first make Israel the ruling state in the world and then he can rule the world and say I am the Messiah that you understand already but in order for Israel to rule the world Israel has to wage great wars and that's the Malhama that's coming but Israel cannot wage great wars if Muslims have a weapon with which they can significantly threaten Israel and so no Muslim country must have nuclear weapons that's the new religion of Israel that's the new religion of Zionists that Muslims must not have any weapon with which they can threaten Israel but Pakistan has that thanks to Zulfikar Ali Bhutto who did many bad things but this was a good thing that he did thanks to Ziaul Haq Marhum who did some bad things but alhamdulillah he died as a mu'min and Shaheed and uh, others as well who not only brought Pakistan into the nuclear club but kept Pakistan there in order for an attack to be launched on Pakistan to destroy Pakistan's nuclear plants and nuclear weapons you will also have to break up Pakistan 
so that Pakistan can never revive itself because the Pakistanis are going to be very angry who is going to do that job to break up Pakistan you don't need a PhD to answer that question do you Israel's most strategic ally in the world today after the United States is India India used to be secular India under the Indian National Congress but now India has become Hindu India not the Hindu India of Gandhi a different kind of Hindu India and this Hindu India is joined with Israel in a strategic alliance and so India is going to play a significant role in that effort to denuclearize Pakistan and to destroy and break up Pakistan into bits and pieces I believe the Indian Muslims already know that they know that and so that is one of the possible wars that's coming the second an attack on Iran you don't have to tell me that Iran is Shia and we are Sunni I know that <laughs> but I don't subscribe to the view that the Shia are Kufar if that's your view that's your view it's not mine and when they attack Iran it will not be only for the possible threat of nuclear weapons in Iran no they have another target and that is to remove this government it's called regime change because this government in Iran is a thorn in their sides it is not willing to bow and bend before Israel no like Libya under Gaddafi Libya did not bow its knee to Israel and if you do not bow your knee to Israel we can send some foolish mujahideen against you some fools who call themselves mujahideen they are fools and I have said to them you are fools you're not mujahideen you're fools because the Quran has prohibited you from entering into an alliance with a Jewish Christian alliance which are the Zionists and if you do that says Allah you lost your Islam and so because Libya did not bow to Israel that's why they attack Libya and because Iran is not prepared to bow to Israel that's why they will attack Iran and the purpose of the attack on Iran is to try to bring about a regime change so that a new government will come to Iran like the one you have in what is it called now the kingdom the American kingdom of Saudi Arabia the shameless American kingdom of Saudi Arabia which has entered into an alliance with the Zionists and has now taken Saudi Arabia, Saudi Arabia to become a strategic ally of Israel shame on you so that's what they do they want to do with Iran so that you can get rid of this government in Iran and bring another one which will become an ally of Israel and that is when the hadith will be fulfilled you know it that 70,000 Jews from Isfahan will follow Dajjal hmm? not this government in Iran the third possible battleground can be Syria 
because they not only want to bring about regime change in Syria as in Libya to get a new government that would be friendly to Israel they want to do more than that Israel is an ally of Russia and if you have read my book on Gog and Magog you will know that Russia and its allies are Magog and the Anglo-American NATO alliance is Gog and that Gog-Magog war is coming it's going to be nuclear war very few people will be left on the earth when that war is over within maybe 20 years from today you will have only a fraction of the people now on the earth still alive Islamic scholarship can say that because we study the Quran and we study Nabi Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam and Russia has a naval base in Syria the only naval base in the Mediterranean so if you could bring about regime change in Syria you will deal Russia a deadly blow you will also deal a blow to China and so we have three possible battlegrounds already one Pakistan two Iran three three uh, Syria and four the fourth battleground is possibly Egypt because Israel Israel wants part of Egypt's territory because of something in the Torah the Torah says that the Holy Land extends from the river of Egypt to the river Euphrates from the river of Egypt to the river Euphrates meaning that part of Egypt from the river Nile to the Red Sea belongs to Israel <laughs> and so within the next few within the next few months we expect that these wars are going to begin and Islamic scholarship should be ready